Kanchan comes in as a Sri Lankan guy who's helping them find out various archaeological spots. Amazing actor. Soon after Godfather, nice seeing the actor. I hope you see more of him. Good character, good talent. Everybody else in the film, including Nazir over the top. Akshay believes sporting a salt and pepper beard and uh, modern uh, t-shirts and hoods is how you have a political philosopher or a historical archaeologist. Save us. Ram Setu could well be in the scenes. Sign off with my customary acknowledgements to Abhina and Dhaka. Do write in your comments on the review. Thank you. Bye-bye. As an archaeologist, Akshay Kumar is Anjan Kurukshetra, Professor Anjan Kurukshetra. His wife is Professor Gayatri. He has a little kid over at home. And you have those typical side comments on if you don't believe in Ram, you can't be an Indian, etc., etc. Black painting people, polarization, profile, all that happens in the film. And very soon you realize that the archaeologist who said he does not want opinion but he wants facts is on his mission on Ram Seth at the instance of the devil, namely the character called Indra Khan, played by Nazir, over the top again, who is the villain who has business interest in creating the Ram Setu bridge. He has the power and the wherewithal to ensure that the affidavit filed by the government of India before the Supreme Court is stage managed. And the initial stance by the protagonist finds enemies within the society. But very soon, on a steamer, on a boat, on a ship, on a new experiment, he runs into, and here's a joke, Jacqueline Fernandez playing a scientist. So here they are. They're on this expedition to find out whether Ram Setu is real, natural formation, or real from the Ramayana. So it is, this is the story. Now you know that packed in this is the volcano of beliefs or rationality. And mainstream cinema is not going to deal with it scientifically. I would come with the belief that it did need not be done scientifically. So don't come up with pretensions. To me, speaking for myself, I believe in drama. I believe it is unimportant to find out whether the Ram Setu was built by Hanuman or was natural formation. Because natural formation to me is God's formation. So I don't see a contradiction there. And I also would go with the argument that even if it is a natural formation, you will build nothing there because natural formations are also of archaeological importance. These basic arguments are all lost out because you have a hidden agenda in telling a story of this kind. And that is the undoing of an absolutely trepid, insipid script that bores the daylight out of you. Ram Setu is an archaeological episode that needs to be underground. Everybody in the film, including the ever-reliable Akshay Kumar, is a non-starter. The one guy who stands out in the film is Satyadev. Kancharan, director Abhishek Sharma gets yet another film of question marks involving Akshay Kumar. Akshay, the actor who had a lovely run at the box office, created a niche for himself in doing cinema that was nice, pleasant, suddenly became the Sunday priest, the man of the pulpit suddenly became a man with a vision. And the whole paradox was that he was a man with a mission within the space of commercial cinema with all the contradictions that can come with a parcel of this kind. Ram Setu is an 
typical textbook example of it all. Starts off with a coquettish look at Taliban and how archaeologists pull out some treasures post the Buddha episode in the Taliban in Afghanistan. Interestingly, the archaeology team has uh, alongside the Indian a Pakistan. Thank you for lip service. Move on. In India, there is a pool dealing with the question of the Ram Setu activity. And in the center of the controversy is whether Ram Setu is a natural, natural formation or whether it was built. Quay the Ramayana. 